two days old almost. And their favorite treat is boiled egg yolks. Well, I was asked today how the little baby guineas are doing with Mama T. And there's Mama T. And all 11 baby guineas are still alive and well. They've just gotten their serving of boiled egg yolks. And they're having a feeding frenzy over there. No losses. We had three close calls. But we got them through it. And they're almost as big as her already. Busy little guys. Well, we have ten more little baby guineas. They're day old. And they're in here with Mama T. They haven't learned to eat yet, which makes them noisy, because they're hungry. Once they get their little bellies full, they'll quiet down, and she's doing her best to teach them how to eat. Looks like the weak old little guys have accepted them quite well, so there's no problem there. They just got put in there, so maybe they'll learn to eat, drink, and settle down. Well, we just added 10 more baby guineas to Mama T's brood. She has sent them all to bed. Some of them are listening. Everybody seems to be getting along okay. They're young. They haven't learned to eat yet. She's working on it. Finally, 12 hours later, everything is quiet. Baby's tummies are all full. Mama T gets a break. Everybody's sleeping. The little babies are tucked in on their rabbit fur and their boa, their feather boa. Everybody's happy. Well, there's our baby guineas, the ones that are about five days and maybe seven days. And there's Mama T, still taking care of babies. Everybody seems to be doing well. Uh, they'll be moving out as soon as we get another batch. I'm expecting another batch probably in a few days. And everybody seems to be happy and healthy and active and eating well and it's a good day on the farm. There's all the little babies, all the little guineas eating and Mama T's over here happy in her dirt bath. Everybody's happy. We're about a week old on the older ones and maybe four or five days on the other ones. Maybe ten days and five days. That older group's getting ready to move out. So, little Mama T had been living out in the poultry house and it was getting quite cold out there. So I took a baking pan, right there, and inside that baking pan I took a heating element for reptiles. I attached it to the baking pan. 
It doesn't warm up much, just a few degrees. But she has decided this is a wonderful place to be and is no longer all puffy and quiet and sleepy in the corner, but is active and enjoying her new warm habitat. Of course, I'm very happy because Mama T is such a precious little bird. Okay, Mama T, tell everybody hi. Tell them you like your new house.